Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on travel, photography, research and motherhood. And today's topic is on Spectra S2 breast pump, how to use it, the pump parts, as well as some modifications that you can do to make it portable. Some of the things that you have to do as part of pre-delivery preparation is to learn how to use a breast pump and there may be several reasons where you may have to end up using a breast pump. One of them could be if you're returning to work early and if you want to create like a stock supply for the baby or if you have engorgement you may need to relieve some of the pressure by removing milk through the breast pump uh, because uh, engorgement leads to pain and inflammation in some cases your milk supply is low so the baby may not want to latch in those cases you may want to increase your milk supply through a breast pump also in some cases there may be latching issues or medical conditions both for the baby or for the mother due to which establishing direct breastfeeding is not possible or just doesn't work out in those cases you may need to take help from the breast pump also in cases where your supply is low you may have to do a call combination of breast milk as well as formula in those cases you can pump milk through the breast pump and before we get further into this topic let me explain you what is meant by breastfeeding breastfeeding includes both direct breastfeeding as well as breast pumping just to clarify and put it out there breast pumping is also called as breastfeeding the word breastfeeding doesn't mean feeding on the breast breastfeeding means baby is feeding breast milk so it doesn't matter if it's through pumping or if it's through direct breastfeeding of course direct breastfeeding is the best but as i mentioned there are several cases where things may not happen as you plan and in those cases uh, understanding your pump and how to use it will really help you if you want to make sure that the baby gets uh, breast milk also if you have seen my previous videos hospital bag or 20 things you need to do before delivery I mentioned several times that you need to understand how to use your pump before delivery also in those videos I mentioned that during your hospital stay you will meet with lactation consultants and at that time if you have any questions or if you still have not learned how to use your pump that's the best time for you to learn from the experts on how to use it and based on your pump they'll give you specific instructions on how to optimize the settings for you I breastfed my baby by exclusively pumping for 12 months and I've used two pumps during my journey one is the Amanda platinum which we rented from the hospital and the other one is the spectra s2 breast pump there are several advantages of having the spectra s2 breast pump which I'll cover later in the video and I say this from my experience breastfeeding doesn't start as a big problem but it really ends up as a big problem because the commitment that is expected from mother is a really long time and why breastfeeding is really stressful is because the mother is the only source of food and one great advantage of breastfeeding is that if you're able to pump the milk then anybody else in the family can also feed the baby so the pressure is not all on you of course there are pros and cons All the breast pumping is relatively easy but you have to wash a million of parts overall pumping is a tough journey and i'm sending my love to all mothers who have been on the breast pumping journey because it's not easy remember your goal is always to establish direct breastfeeding and pumping comes in handy only when you are unable to do so because ultimately baby is the best pump and pumping is also hard and there's several reasons for that because if you're directly breastfeeding the baby all you need is the baby you can feed the baby anywhere but if you're pumping you cannot do the same because you have to carry all these supplies with you at every single place you go i'll also go over the various parts later in this video and of course you have to make extra time for this because your pumping timing may not match with the baby's feeding time and you you need a clean place because pumping needs a lot of assembly and you need some room and not all companies are able to provide a designated space for pumping and of course the biggest nightmare of pumping is that you have to wash a million of parts and it's just not about pumping after you pumping you again have to store the milk and thaw the milk and then feed it to the baby so there are additional steps involved as well and that is the reason it's important for you to choose a pump that is portable else you're stuck to the wall and that can be very hard uh, initially as well as later if you have any help in initially then later it does get a little hard because if you're on your own then you want to do a little bit of multitasking and you cannot just be stuck to the wall and if you've seen my previous videos that is the reason I emphasize so many times that you have to make sure that you get the breastfeeding classes before your delivery I know breastfeeding looks super intuitive and uh, even I was under the illusion that it'll all be natural and you'll obviously know what to do but 
please do not just always go by that intuition is not enough breastfeeding is a technique it's and like any technique you have to master it and the baby and you both are learning at the same time it needs both you and the baby to cooperate and learn the process and most mothers live with the guilt that uh, if they're unable to establish uh, direct breastfeeding their failure or the feeling as a mother and that is when we can lean on technology to help our babies get the best food anywho let's come back to our main topic which is the spectra as to breast pump So Spectra makes two kinds of pumps, the S2 and S1. The one that I'll cover in this video is the Spectra S2 one. And S2 is pink in color while the S1 is uh, blue in color. And the major difference between them is that the uh, Spectra S1 pump has a built-in battery whereas the S2 doesn't have a built-in battery. So that makes it hard to travel because it is not portable. However, wait till the end of the video, I'm going to show you some modifications on how to use this pump while you're on travel and how to make it portable. And of course, in terms of technology, exact same technology. Also, if you have questions on where to buy this, how to buy this, I explained this in my previous videos. So, so please make sure you check the other videos in my motherhood playlist. So the way to obtain this breast pump is from the insurance. So according to Affordability Care Act, all insurance companies are supposed to provide breast pump for mothers. So the procedure is you first have, you have to obtain prescription from the doctor for a breast pump and then you send this prescription to the insurance company. Then you can ask them information on which pumps are 100% covered by them and which are not and you can choose the pump of your liking and the one that works best for your lifestyle if you're someone who's traveling all the time then you may want to choose something completely hands-free like an LV or a Freemi so there are several different brands out there according to me Spectra S2 is a pretty good pump and also remember during traveling breast pump is considered as a medical device so you can always take this in the flights or any other places where you're traveling without it being considered as an extra luggage and if you choose the one of your liking you may have to pay a little bit more deductible but of course you have to weigh in your options and see what works best for you and most insurance companies provide spectra s2 and that is the reason i'm covering this in my video Now coming to this pump, this pump has several advantages. So the first thing that you need to note is that this is an electric double breast pump and uh, Spectra S2 uses hospital grade technology. So the reason you need to use hospital grade technology is that this, tech, this is going to mimic the natural suckling notion of the baby. And Spectra S2 has back flu protectors and thus making this a closed system. The reason it's called as a closed system is because this half uh, doesn't come in contact with the other half of the pump because there is a backflow protector here which separates it so the breast milk that gets pumped here and all the parts that touch the breast milk never come in contact with the tubing or with the pump itself so that is the reason it's a closed system and that is also a reason why you will see that you are able to share this pump or use this pump across different people because uh, because it's a closed system and there is no chance of contamination and tubing and the pump will always stay clean and that is also the reason Reason you do not need to sterilize your tubing if I connect the charger to the pump you will see that it has a night light feature with two settings and this pump works for around 1500 hours and usually you get two years warranty on the pump and 90 days on this accessories and this pump also has customizable settings there is a massage mode also called as a letdown mode and the next one is the expression mode so you have so this is also called as two-phase cycling and then all the pump parts are BPA free and you'll also see a lot of features listed here different modes it's very quiet and there is no backflow because on the backflow protectors and it has customizable settings the night light and there is an auto timer with display I have not used this setting but then yes this is a handy because sometimes you're pumping and then you're doing something and you cannot keep track of time and you end up pumping for a really long time and when you pump for long uh, you will have sore nipples and cracked nipples and other kinds of issues so you can actually set up a timer here as well so that's one big advantage 
so if you're not going through insurance this pump uh, sells for around 150 dollars in amazon and the s1 pump sells for 200 dollars so when you purchase this from the insurance these are all the parts that you'll receive that includes a pair of tubing a pair of flanges one adapter and two backflow protectors and then two bottles along with the disc and the nipples and the lids and one piece which is not shown in the picture here is the dumbbell valves they'll also provide a pair of dumbbell valves now on the screen i'll show you the pumping schedule that i followed for the 12 months that i pumped in the first two months i was pumping uh, eight times per day so that is from six in the morning to again three in the morning from three to four months i started pumping seven times in a day that is from six to two in the night uh, and that is when i started skipping the middle of the night pumping from five to six months i started using six pumps per day and that was from seven to two from seven to eight months i started pumping for five times in a day that is from six to ten in the night from nine months it was four a day uh, that is at six eleven four and nine and then from 10 months I started pumping three times a day uh, six one and nine and from 11 months I started pumping two times a day once in the morning and once in the night and after 12 months it's only one time a day once I hit 12 months I think I pumped only for like two more weeks at that time I was only pumping once in a day when it comes to pumping schedule it may not work the same for you and as you decrease the number of pumps you have to increase the time so frequency and time are very dependent factors. so in this case if you're reducing the frequency you have to increase the total time of each pump you need a total of 120 minutes of stimulation irrespective of number of times you pump so so you can decrease the number of pumps however you have to again be careful to make sure to increase the amount of time for in every single pump so say for example for the first two months when you start with eight pumps per day you do a total of 15 minutes per session and then as you decrease it to seven pumps then you increase every single pump by two minutes so instead of doing it for 15 minutes when you decrease it to seven pumps per day you you increase the timing of pump 17 minutes per pump and it keeps on going that Way. sometimes when you decrease too many pumps in a single go what happens is if you do not have good breast storage capacity your milk supply may drop significantly and the reason is that there is something called as the storage capacity and every mother is different in that way if you have good storage capacity then you can decrease the total number of pumps easily but if you do not then you still have to keep up, up a certain number of pumps Okay, now let me explain the pump parts uh, very briefly. So first thing is this is the flange. Flange is the funnel shaped part and this is what actually goes onto the breast. And here if you see on the side, there is a number listed here and this says 20 mm what this means is this is a nipple diameter and you have to choose the one that actually fits your size if you use an incorrect one this can lead to sore or cracked nipples or clogged milk ducts so you do not want that and having sore or cracked nipples or clogged milk ducts lead to pain and inflammation and it may even lead to discontinuation of breastfeeding that's why you want to be careful to choose the right size so the next one is the valve this is the dumbbell valve so the milk flows from the flange through the uh, valves into the bottle and these are usually made up of silicone and this is the most important component of the breast pump because this is what actually creates a suction and they need to be replaced frequently it's said to replace once every month but i used to replace every three four months that is the reason you need to keep track of the total uh, milk output in a day if your milk output has decreased in a day that means you may have to change these valves and the next one is this tubing this tubing is what, what connects this entire setup to the breast pump and because it's a closed system you do not have to wash this frequently always try to keep this dry because if this is wet then bacteria will grow in here and the next one is bottles bottle spray uses wide mouth bottles so there are two kinds of bottles uh, wide mouth and then narrow mouth bottle dr brown and other kinds they have narrow mouth bottles while spectra has uh, wide mouth bottles always try to pump into the bottles which you can feed directly to the baby so that you can avoid additional step of uh, uh, pumping into the storage banks and then putting it into the bottle and warming it up so it'll just make your life much easy and the next one is this backflow protectors so these backflow protectors they are sitting between the flanges and the tubing and this is what makes the system a closed system so what basically i do is that every time i disconnect from the pump i just leave this as is and i pretty much wash this entire setup
once you pump the milk into the bottles try to feed the baby within 4 hours uh, if it's more than 4 hours then store them at the back of the fridge where it's the coldest and also another trick is to as using this kind of setup is not natural uh, sometimes there will be a lot of pain when you're using this flanges so you can put on a little bit of coconut oil or edible olive oil or some nipple butter on these flanges before you pump just so that there is not too much friction So let me explain you the pump a little bit. So this is the power button and then here you have cycle which you can increase and decrease. This is the let down mode or the massage mode and here you have vacuum settings which you can increase and decrease and this is the light button. So what vacuum does it, it determines the suction that you want and what cycle does is it determines the speed that you want. There is also a cap that comes on here. So you can remove this one cube and you can use this to actually pump only on one single side. So when you start you turn on this power button and then you first start with the let down mode. So in this let down mode so this always starts with the cycle 70 and for the vacuum settings I usually recommend like to start with like 3 and then increase up to 4 or start at 4 and increase up to 5 again this is based on your comfort. And once you're done with the let down mode then you again click the same button and then you go into expression mode. In the expression mode usually the cycle is always 54. And the vacuum settings they start at 1 and then you can increase up to 12. So just to give you a heads up this pump has a memory so if you have used certain settings before it will remember that and it will take you back to the same place. So that's why make sure when you're changing the settings uh, you want to lower down the vacuum. So usually you should pump anywhere between 15 to 25 minutes. The movement of this membrane actually shows you if the pump is sucking or not. One main complaint which a lot of people have with Spectra is to pump is the non-portability issue. So there is a trick around it that is to use this 12 volt battery pack. So you can get this in Amazon for around $34 and then you have a splitter. That splitter will actually go into the charging spot or that is what will make the system portable and you can use it to travel anywhere. And also if you are pumping in the car, you can also buy this uh, 12 volts charger, this lugged into the vehicle lighter adapter and this piece goes into the pump so you can actually pump in car as well. And remember when it comes to pumping and milk supply, every mother is different, it's not one size fit all. And as I mentioned before, there is something called a storage capacity and your pump outputs may vary between mothers. So that's something that you have to remember. And also I have attached this to the pump through a Velcro. You can buy Velcro like this and this can be used to attach this battery to the pump. Also, if you're pumping at work because you're not seeing the baby, your, your milk supply can drop down and that is why a lot of mothers who are working on weekdays, they would do the pumping but on weekends, they would do what is called as power pumping to increase the milk supply. Power pumping mimics the cluster feeding of the baby. So here what you do is you start with 20 minutes pumping, then you rest for 10 minutes, then you pump for 10 minutes, then you rest for 10 minutes and then you pump for 10 minutes. So you keep doing this in a loop. So try this over the weekend when you're watching a movie. So please stay tuned to my channel because in the future videos I'm going to cover topics on checklists for pumping at work, breastfeeding and how to increase milk supply. And please do check all the videos in my motherhood playlist because all this information is linked and if you're a new or an expecting mother then this information is very helpful to you. And please leave any comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And again I'll see you in my next video.